It has become evidently clear that one of the greatest challenges facing us all, no matter where we call home, is climate change. It is the most vulnerable population in developing countries whose well-being and livelihoods are most affected. This is especially true for women and girls in sub-Saharan Africa. Agriculture is the primary source of livelihood for approximately 80% of the population in sub-Saharan Africa. And though women represent at least half of the region food producers, they have a much lower ability than men to respond and adapt to climate shocks. This is due to several reasons, including women's limited access and control over agricultural resources, social cultural norms, and limited decision-making power on agricultural strategies. All those factors have brought to the forefront the urgent need to prioritize gender-sensitive agricultural policies for a more effective response to climate change. Without effective climate policies, it becomes impossible to truly mitigate and adapt to climate shocks. For over 20 years, the Partnership for Economic Policy has implemented over 350 projects in 64 countries with the goal of informing local and national policymaking through high-quality evidence generated through rigorous empirical analysis by local researchers working in partnership with policymakers. With this mission, and in response to the urgent need for gender-sensitive climate policies in Sub-Saharan Africa, Global Affairs Canada awarded funding to PEPFOR a three-year research initiative on climate change in Africa, impact and response for women and girls. Through this initiative, PEP supported five research projects in Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Nigeria, Malawi and Tanzania. These projects were led by teams of local researchers and government representatives following the PEP fostered co-production research model. Agriculture in Burkina Faso is the primary economic sector employing 80% of the working population. Yet, with 97% of the agriculture being rain-fed, irregular rainfall and drought episodes have had a major impact on the country's food security. Gender inequalities are significant, with less than 8% of landowners being women. As part of the PEP initiative, the local project team examined the gender-specific impact of climate change on Burkina Faso's agricultural sector to recommend strategies the Burkina Bay government can put in place to alleviate these impacts. These findings reveal that providing better access to irrigated land for women and cultivation of crops that are more resilient to water stress would prove to be effective in reducing the adverse effect of climate change. In Nigeria, where 44% of the population face moderate or severe food insecurity, women form managers who own less than 15% of agricultural lands are hit hardest by the effects of climate shocks. Furthermore, the absence of gender-specific policies accentuates the food poverty challenge faced by Nigerian women. PEP project team conducted a scientific analysis to identify how climate shocks contribute to the gender gap in food security while testing policy measures to build the resilience of women and mitigate their fragile food security status. These measures include promoting crop diversification and providing cash transfers to stimulate access to food in the right quality and quantity for households with females farm managers. Throughout those five projects, the Partnership for Economic Policy adopted its unique three-pronged approach of conducting high-quality studies based on rigorous empirical analysis, using local underground researchers, working in close collaboration with policymakers and stakeholders. PIP also promoted the uptake of evidence-based recommendations through public engagement via national events and media coverage. As a result, not only did this project inform policymaking, but they led to increased visibility and career advancement for local researchers. We invite you to visit our website to learn more about the studies done under the Climate Change in Africa initiative, as well as the other work PIP is doing to support high-quality, policy-engaged research in the Global South in areas such as renewable energy, healthcare, youth employment, and many more.